Hello and welcome to the News Cash, your daily roundup of gaming news in myself and Marta. Today is the 8th of July and I have some news for you today regarding Titanfall, Firefall, Bloodborne and the Xbox One. Now beginning of course with Titanfall as Respawn Entertainment have announced Frontier's Edge, the second DLC pack for Titanfall. Now this DLC will be featuring three new maps including, quote, the isolated mining outpost of Dig Site, the exclusive beach resort of Haven, and the mining hub on the side of the mountain known as Export. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a release date at the time of recording, but, of course, it will be available for the Xbox One, Xbox 360, and, of course, the PC for $9.99, of course, and it will be one of the three packs available to those of you with the Season Pass at no additional cost whatsoever. So that's all the information for that one at the moment. Hopefully they will go into some nice meaty detail, which they usually do. So let's move on to Firefall, which is the MMO shooter. And they have finally announced a release date. And this comes direct from the developer Red5 Studios. And they have announced a release date of July the 29th. So it's actually coming up pretty damn soon. Now, of course, this game, which is free to play, was actually revealed way back in 2010 and originally was supposed to come out in 2011. So to say it's delayed is a little bit of an understatement, to say the least. And of course, there was an open beta that which started in 2013 as well. Now, for those of you wondering, when the title does come out at the end of this month, it will be having a new PvP-focused continent for tuned for high-level characters, and you'll also be able to harvest resources and battle NPC creatures, much like in the main game, but you will also have to watch out for other players looking to destroy their harvesters. And as well as this, players can control territory by capturing bases scattered across the continent, um, Red 5 is apparently aiming to shake up player tactics with different objectives that will appear during the battle. So yes, finally a release date for Firefall after a significant delay. I mean, significant doesn't feel like a strong enough a word, but still, it's finally coming out and it's coming out soon as well. And we have a rough, rough release window as well for Bloodborne. Now, we don't have a release date, unfortunately, just a rough release window, but From Software have said that they're targeting an early 2015 release date. And as well, a nice little piece of information is that for those of you attending Gamescom in Germany next month, that it will actually be a playable publicly for the first time at that very convention. Now, John Yoshino, who is actually the producer, did say during a recent event, um, quote, we're really working flat out to get this game out for early 2015. We're going to be there at all upcoming major shows like Gamescom, where we'll have our first hands-on demo on pods on the show floor. There we can gauge firsthand the reaction to the game. And finally, we're going to finish up as promised with the Xbox One as Microsoft is actually offering a rather nice promo at the moment as they have a $75 in online credit to encourage Xbox 360 owners to upgrade to the Xbox One. Now, this was spotted by a sharp-eyed NeoGAF user by the name of Before You who posted images of a promo appearing on the Xbox 360 dashboard. And as I said, it offers a $75 promotional code with the purchase of an Xbox system or bundle from a Microsoft store or quote-unquote local retailer. Now, according to the fine print, however, it's only applicable to Xbox Live account holders who actually receive their notification on the Xbox 360 console, and of course, only in the US. So it might not even be all US owners from what I'm reading here, or it could be, or it could just be a kind of offer that they send out randomly to people. But, but regardless, um, does last to the end of July. Now this credit can be used to purchase games, add-on content or other items in the Xbox Marketplace, meaning that basically you can make use of the deal to download your first full price game for free with some credit to spare or you can use it to upgrade to the Xbox One if of course the offer is sent to you. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.